Hello. In this video, I'm going to briefly chat about some ways that you can debug your code and how to really solve problems when you encounter them. Because a lot about learning to code is really about learning to understand errors and be able to figure out how to solve those errors to ultimately solve whatever problem you're trying to. And so today we'll just talk about some of those some tips in order to help you get started in that process. All right, so here we are in a very short code. And there are four ways that we can work on debugging our code. The first is just to Google. Um, for example, you can type how to read a CSV into Google, as I've done here, and you can get all of these different answers of people that have written tutorials to documentation um, and occasionally even stuff on Stack Overflow. So this is a really uh, the first stop when you're coming up to issues and you're trying to debug your code. The next step is to use Stack Overflow. A lot of times Stack Overflow will come up in part of your Google search, but you can also use this link here to get to specific Python problems. And then you can sort of say, read a CSV, let them know that you are not a robot. And you get all of these answers of people that have asked the same question as you and have gotten community-based answers um, from people that are you know, experts in Python. So that's, you know, step two. Um, something you can do within Python is use the actual help function. And so here you can just type help and you can give it whatever command you're struggling with. So this is um, a little different from Googling where you sort of ask a question. This, you need to know what the command you're trying to use is, but if you're, you know you need to use pandas dot read CSV and something's not going right and you're not sure what the problem is, you can use the help function. First, you need to make sure your library is, in, um, is installed. And it will actually print out the very intensive documentation about this particular function. Here it's read CSV. And it tells you how to actually do this. It tells you that your file path needs to be a string or a path object or path. Um, if you're scrolling through here, you can um, see here we've got skip rows that we used in our import videos. And it tells you how to use skip rows and lots of other arguments that you may or may not need to use. But that's always an option to use the help function. And then the last bit of debugging options is to use the actual documentation by the library. Most Python libraries, especially those used in this class, will have a large amount of documentation available. Here I have the pandas documentation open, which I just reached by Googling pandas documentation. And they've got a really nice website here with tutorials and everything. Um, but you can click into their user guide and you can see all of these different options. And they even have a search feature so again, you can search read CSV and it'll come up with the documentation that we just saw using the help function. And so we have these four options for you uh, whenever you are stuck and trying to solve the problem, but you can also always email instructors if you're having a really uh, tough issue. 